Hello guys, my name is Hasten Dias and you are at Basic Marine Engineering. Today I am going to talk about freshwater generator. I have spoken about freshwater generator in my last video. But today again I am taking the same topic. Uh, it is like a continuation. Uh, in this topic I am going to talk about how we are going to do cleaning of freshwater generator. So, when we have started now. Now I have already drawn the diagram and you can see this part is the tubes, this is your drain and uh, we have a half cut drum, we have a Wilden pump and you have to open this side glass, here you have a side glass so you have to open the side glass. So what you will do is you will fill chemical inside this and water. Normally, if you are using drain uh, Dreamorin, if you are using Dreamorin company chemical, then you will have safe acid. You can use that safe acid. Safe acid, uh, you can refer the manual. Uh, it depends on the quantity of water which you are using. So, if if uh, if you are using particular amount of quantity, then you will have to uh, use particular amount of acid. Uh, acid. So, normally the for safe acid at least what happens is it has to be international orange color after you mix the chemical the color of the chemical should be international orange so that's what that is the reason I have selected the orange color so after you have done that what you will do is you will start the pump and you will have chemical circulating understood so you will have chemical circulating so and then your chemical will start moving from your drain and getting back to the drum also do open jacket water for heating so that uh, actually every chemical uh, uh, this chemical will do better cleaning when it is heated up so heat it up let it uh, run it for some hours and uh, try to keep this hose this hose little higher so that some amount of water should remain in such in a manner that all that you should be able to see water at least at this height so that you are sure that entire fresh water generator evaporator tubes are submerged and uh, cleaning is done thorough so make sure this hose you are keeping slightly higher so rotate it for some time after some time after few hours you can stop drain all the liquid uh, drain it to sludge tank and then what you can do is um, again use some more fresh water and this time you will rotate some alkaline solution so dip any alkaline chemical you can take and you can put little bit and you can circulate why you have to do that is if any you know any, any pocket suppose chemical remains so what will it tend to do it will tend to eat up and it might start a leakage so to avoid that what we are doing is we will rotate alkaline solution so what will happen is if alkaline solution goes it will start it will neutralize understood so it will neutralize all the chemical and there will be no issues so for some time you can rotate and after some time what you can do is you can use fresh water for rotation without any chemical just rotate fresh water and this is how you can do even for what do you call for conden uh, condenser side now for evaporator I have told you all this is the method evaporator side there is another method people which do is they fill up water inside without rich circulation and all without uh, any pumps and all what they do is they just fill water here and add chemical inside and keep it stagnant and open the heating so after some time it gets uh, it will clean but efficiency is not as good as if you do it with recirculation with, uh, with the pump and all understood normally this pump is a Wilden pump and it's specially for chemical so if you if you circulate the chemical then it is a very good it does a very good efficient cleaning and for condenser what we can do is you can remove this cover and cover and you can use brush and you can just clean manually the other way is again you will have an inlet pipe here an outlet pipe for the condenser disconnect 
connect again the same type of system one hose will come out uh, inside your tub another hose will go to the pump and that pump will supply here again you are rotating the chemical so that way also you can do and this is how you will do uh, cleaning of Sharon tube type fresh photo generator so now we are talking about plate type so in plate type what we have is we have a number of plates which are compressed and tightened for both so the bottom one is evaporator tubes the upper one this is a condenser and here we have the evaporator tubes so what we do for plate type is normally we will remove this cover this is a dome cover which we will remove the cover remove this nut uh, bolts here unscrew remove all the plates we will remove and then we will put all the plates inside a half cut drum plates will be lying and uh, we will add chemical and uh, water here so that uh, same what i was telling you earlier first we'll do what we'll do we'll mix it separately outside we'll mix in small bucket we will keep mixing self acid and water and then what we can do is we can just pour it here understood and for heating purpose we, uh, sometimes what we do is we uh, fabricate a small coil of just for heating of copper tube and we connect and then we can do the heating of this or we can use hot water and start all you can use some hot water if you want to do chemical cleaning again you can do the same way which i was telling you just find a for uh, for condenser it's very easy here just find a point where you, uh, what uh, what i can say is uh, two pipelines which are going one inlet and outlet you can do that way but normally we prefer for plate type heat exchanger we always prefer to do it uh, by removing the plates out suppose you want to do chemical cleaning for evaporator types of plate and um, what you can do is you can find a feed line in the feed line you will do the um, what do you call it supply uh, you will supply the pump connection like uh, i had told you earlier suppose this is a pump and this will go for feed line and this is coming from a drum of chemical and what happens is here with the suction which it takes for eductor uh, you all remember the eductor how it takes suction so from there you can drain to your half cut drum i hope uh, this part is very clear now about dermister which i had not explained earlier also now for plate type you have dermister in this manner the yellow color which i have shown is the dermister so this you will have to remove manually and bring it outside and wash it it's more than enough if you feel it is very dirty again you can do the same thing put it in chemical like how we have put in plates you can put in chemical and you can keep it for some time and then you can uh, then you can again wash it rinse it now normally after we keep it for in chemical suppose we keep a plate in chemical after some time what we'll do is after few hours we'll remove the plate and scrub if it required and uh, just wash with fresh water more than enough actually manual cleaning is the easiest way for plate type uh, fresh water generator it gives you a thorough cleaning uh, chemical cleaning will not be advised because people don't want to do because of the rubber packing which it has each and every plate has rubber packing so sometimes it might tend to leak for that reason we always tend to avoid uh, chemical cleaning for plate type heat water, uh, fresh water generator I hope this has helped you guys in understanding how cleaning of fresh water generator is done. So, if you liked my video, do give a thumbs up. Please share the knowledge, help others to understand, discuss this, pass the knowledge. Very very important. And many a times when you help others, when you go to help others, it actually questions. He will lay out some questions which will question whether you understand the topic well or not.
many times when you try to understand when you try to help others you also learn and remember better so try to help others pass on the knowledge pass the video thank you till next video best of luck